Uh, this morning I'm going to talk about hydraulic modeling. Hydraulic modeling, uh, most of the time we are concerned with uh, computing the discharge and also the uh, water level in the channel, in the culvert or in pipe. Huh? For this morning, we are looking mainly at the uniform open channel flow. Huh? We are looking at open channel flow. Now, the traditional approach uh, used by the engineers uh, when dealing with the uniform open channel flow is to use the Manning equation. That is the, uh, the common approach to compute the water level using the Manning equation. Now the Manning equation or the Manning formula assume uniform open channel flow. Huh? We assume uniform open channel flow or the uniform normal depth flow. Uh, it's from open channel uh, analysis. Uh, it assumes a uh, uniform normal depth flow using many equations. Uh, this uh, many equation is a uh, is an empirical equation. It is an empirical equation. And is given by this uh, equation here. Q equal to AR S divided by N. Q equal to AR to the power two third S to the power half divided by N. This is the Manning equation. The Q is the discharge, A is the area, R is the uh, hydraulic radius, S is the friction slope. Right? So this is the equation. The Manning equation also is known as the uh, Chelsea equation. Chelsea equation is another name, but they are referring to the same thing. It's the empirical equation that relates the discharge to the area, the hydraulic radius, and the slope using a, a coefficient called n, which is the Manning's roughness. Okay. Coefficient n is the Manning's roughness number. there are two common application. One common application is to calculate the design field uh, at a given depth in the channel of a certain geometry, big slope and roughness. Okay. That is the first application. Calculate the design field. Uh, given the geometry, slope, and roughness. Second application is to calculate the depth of uniform flow. Uh, calculate the depth of uniform flow for a given discharge. For a given discharge with a certain geometry, slope, and roughness. Second application is calculate the depth of the uniform flow. 
first application is calculate the discharge. So these are the common application. So let me ask you, what is the limitation of the menu uh, equation? What is the limitation? What is the uh, limitation of the uh, many equation? The limitation of the many equation is that it does not as consider the backwater effect. We assume uniform normal depth flow. Uniform normal depth flow means it does not consider the backwater effect. If you have a constriction or you have the obstruction downstream, the water su surface will back up. So, if you use the many equation, it cannot consider that. It cannot consider the effect of a constriction downstream causing backwater effect. A backwater effect means the water, uh, the water surface will in will raise up because of an obstruction downstream or a constriction downstream. You see, this is commonly observed, huh? and it's the cause of most drainage flooding issue. Huh? This is the cause of uh, flooding in a lot of drainage uh, system. Huh? Cause of flooding. There's a constriction downstream causing the backwater effect. The backwater effect is the one that's causing flooding. If everything flow by open channel flow, there won't be any flooding. Right? If everything flow within the channel, based on open channel flow, then there won't be any flooding. Flooding occurs because there's backwater effect. Yeah? Okay, that brings us to the pack rest. Mm. Pack rest is a tool for backwater curve computation. Huh? Pack rest is a tool for backwater curve computation. The significance of it I already mentioned. Most systems behave with the backwater effect. Seldom do we get uniform normal depth flow. Uniform normal depth flow is only used by engineer in their design. It seldom occur. Uh, uniform normal depth flow can be considered as a special case of this backwater effect. Uh, uniform normal depth flow means zero backwater effect. So it can be run using the same model at rest. Uh, 